So I'm going to gradually release videos about dispels in different dungeons. Um, normally I did plan on combining it all into one big video, but I think it might be better to just separate them, especially because it'll probably take me some time to get footage and put the video together and I don't want to just make it one huge large effort when I can just space it out. So the first one that I will be starting off with for this series is I of Estrara. Okay, so first I am in I of Estrara. I think the way I'm going to be showing these is at least showing you guys the mob specifically or the boss and then telling you about what debuff you should expect. I don't think it would be realistic for me to get footage for every single debuff in action because then I'm going to kind of need to run every single dungeon and that can be very time consuming. Um, I, I definitely understand that it's easier for people to see what the debuff may look like. This is kind of the best that I can work with, I guess for now. Um, depending on where the mobs are located or whether they will be easy to reach, I could try to show them in action. Otherwise, I will just mainly focus on showing you which mob it is and then describing what the debuff may be. That way, people can learn the debuffs. Okay, the first one in Eye of Estrara that you will have to watch out for is this woman over here. Oh, I can't mind vision as holy. But now I look like a fool. The first mob you want to focus on is this woman over here. So this one and then the other one as well, further down. Let me show you guys. Let's take a little tour of Ivestrara. So this other one as well, both hate coil arcanists. You have three different ones you can choose from that you end up pulling, but I think this one and then that one over there are the ones you tend to pull. Sometimes people pull this one, but I think it's a little strange to go out of the way when you can just run through here. But yeah, anyways, she casts Polymorph. That's pretty much the only ability that you want to watch out for that you need to dispel. I do think, yeah, you want to dispel that as soon as possible because you lose DPS time if you leave that person sitting in polymorph. She does not do that much damage at all if people are interrupting, so you should never feel like you can't spare that global to dispel somebody. So when she casts polymorph, focus on who she's targeting and then just be ready to dispel them right away. Okay, next, the other one that you want to focus on here is these oozes. When they die, they apply a magic debuff that reduces someone's movement speed, and I believe it stacks. So if, you know, you AoE them down and you have melee standing inside, then it will root them. Um, the only time this is a problem is when it's sanguine weak. So if the melee get rooted in, you know, five pools that are stacked on top of each other, they will die. So if you can, get ready to mass dispel them, or just try to dispel who you can individually, and if somebody dies, obviously that's not something you can always control or prevent. Another one later on that you also want to keep in mind is that I believe this guy, the Silt Walker, he just applies a dot debuff onto somebody that is magic. I don't remember the name, unfortunately, but I just know that he does it, so every time I engage him, as a healer, I just keep in mind that somebody is going to get a debuff off of this guy. So you just wanted to spell that off. Okay, the next one you want to focus on are this Naga and this one. The last two before you end up pulling the final boss, they will cast Magic Binding. And it will basically root everybody with a magic debuff and also deal a dot over time. So on Fortified Weeks, this dot will kill somebody if they eat the whole duration. So what I like to tell people is to tell them to all stack in melee range. That way my master spell can remove it off everybody very smoothly. What I like to do is I like to kind of precast master spell as magic. I like to just precast master spell maybe halfway into the magic binding cast. That way, right when the cast goes off, my master spell also goes off at the same time and nobody takes any damage. And then the last one in this instance is just off of the final boss. He just applies that arcane bomb debuff, which I also forgot to mention that these two other Nagas give you arcane bomb. Sorry about that. 
But yeah, those two Nagas give you Arcane Bomb, which kills you if you kind of let it tick down the whole duration and it lands on somebody. It's a pretty long duration, so that should ideally never happen, but that's just something you want to dispel off. On the final boss, you just want somebody to move out of the group. That way you can dispel it off and then the Arcane Bomb won't land on somebody in um, an area where people are standing to DPS the boss. Okay, I believe that sums up all of the debuffs that can be dispelled by priests specifically. Um, that includes basically just diseases or magic debuffs. Um, if I forget any, I'm sorry, I really tried to think about every single one in this dungeon, but if I do forget one, just remind me and uh, it'll be good for me to know as well. But yeah, I hope this information is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next one.